Yeah, halftime. 39-24. The Razorbacks have opened up a 15-point advantage over the Horn Frogs. And unfortunately, almost as much action at the end of the half when Mo Iba, with his frustrations, took it out on the officials. We'll probably talk a little bit more about that when we have an opportunity here at halftime. As you know, Jim Robkin has received great acclaim not only here in Arkansas but all over the Southwest Conference for the job that he and his Hog Wild Band do at Razorback Basketball. Jim Borden put together this two-part feature on the Hog Wild Band. The first year that the new barn hunt was in was my first year to, to be a Hog Wild guy. Um, the year before that, I was a graduate assistant just in the music department. So it was 78. You know, we write 200 person plays all the time, uh, and getting that kind of execution, you know, out of that many people is a very difficult thing. So I try to appeal to their, their pride in the organization, uh, the tradition, and um, wanting to be the best they can be. And, and that's, that's how we get it there, you know, and I, I, we have some great students here. I, I can't even begin to, to name names of the ones that, that have just you know, really done their job, but almost to a man or, or a woman, as the case may be, they have just given everything. And it just makes all the difference in the world. the style, and, and uh, getting some of the show aspects down. Uh, being able to, to entertain, uh, you know, I think that's a very, well, shoot, I mean, that's what, we're, that's what the job is, isn't it? Uh, when we go out and perform for people, we're actually entertaining. <laughs> him and he just kept standing there and then I saw him go like this and I went oh great two minutes and that was after we'd already played the William Turner so um, I really I was just thinking how do I get how do I carry this through because the team really needs it right now and so I, I just played you know with their volume on this section just you know, get up come down like this anything to keep their attention for two minutes you know until we could all come back it, it worked out wonderfully I, I can't believe how it worked out but just as they were coming back everything started going and it just it just spread to everybody and uh, he, and then when UCLA got over the ball it was just done and uh, it just it stayed that way until they fumbled and even when they fumbled it it, it wasn't definitely it was, it was physical There was a timeout, and uh, I said, well, this is it. This is the time. So we did William Tell. And as I was coming back across the court, um, I've been wanting to tell the students this for a long time. Um, and, it, and, and what it was was this, that when we get going, 
it seems like this year that we'll get up to that magic level in Barnhill where, where you feel the sound. You know, that's where it needs to be. We get there, timeout's over, they all sit down. They don't sustain it. You know, it just doesn't sustain. Um, if they would sustain that level, then all of a sudden things would happen. It jumps up to another level of Barnhilden or Barnhill or whatever you want to call it. But I got on the sideline there and I, I tr I've gotten real good at sign language because I can't talk to them, you know. But I pointed up there and I said, now look, let's, let's do this. Now keep it going and make it last a long time, you know. So then I went, Jane, like this, they all went up and everything, and they kept it. They kept it up there, and it just took Texas right out of the game. The dynamic Hogwild band and the dynamic Jim Robkin. Back with more halftime in a moment. <laughs> 